What is a Coulomb? You might remember this name from a physics class you took in high school, or you might have never heard this name before. Not to worry, though, for I will explain it so that everybody can understand it well. In its simplest definition, it is an SI unit for electric charge. There you go. Video over. I'm just kidding, of course. Let's have a look at what a Coulomb really is. The Coulomb was named in 1880 after French engineer and physicist Charles Augustine de Coulomb, who also has a law named after him that we'll cover in a future video. He did important work on electrostatics, in which the unit of a Coulomb is very important in. In technical terms, a Coulomb is defined as 6241509074460767. Point seven seven six, or about 6.2415 times 10 to the 18th elemental charges. That is the amount of charge in that many protons. Electrons carry negative charge, so that previously mentioned number of electrons would have negative 1 coulomb. With this conversion, you can calculate how many excess electrons or protons are on something if you know its charge. It is very useful for a coulomb to be defined in terms of the fundamental charge, because it is a universal constant that can be measured anywhere. For reference, a typical lightning bolt will have about 15 coulombs, but can have as many as 350. Measurements of electric charge in most everyday scenarios are typically quite small, in the micro to milli range. When writing the units of coulomb, you would write it as such, with a capital C, because it is named after a person. As with all other units, it has the SI modifiers that can change its scale, like kilo or milli, that divide or multiply by a thousand. While I was reading the definition, you may have thought to yourself, what is electric charge? Well, the answer is not very clear, to be honest. The most accurate way to describe it is the measure of how much a particle interacts with the electromagnetic force, which we'll cover in a future video. For now, the best way to think of it is just as how much a particle can attract and repel from other electrically charged particles. In case you're familiar with some other electrical terms, there are some other ways to derive the Coulomb as a unit. For instance, you can define it as how much charge passes through a cross-sectional area of a conductor in one second at one ampere. You can also define it as how much electric charge you need to have a force of one newton in an electric field of one volt per meter. If you don't understand these yet, don't worry, I'll explain them all in future videos. If you want to see those, check out my playlists, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.